Hi, my name is Malik, and I'm the training manager for Interconnect Wiring, where connections matter. Today we'll be looking at our wire storage room and how they preserve all of our wire. As a wiring company, how we store and move our wire onto the shop floor is obviously a critical task. Most of our wire is stored in this room. You can find wire as common as an ethernet cord to something as complex as a special C-spec wire that was designed by our customer. When it comes time for us to start a job, our wire inventory team will receive a notification from our system that will tell them which spool is needed and where exactly it needs to go. So before we start issuing or cutting any of this wire, one important feature to note is this label right here that each spool has. This tells us the building number that it is in, the block that it is in, the aisle that it is in, the row in that aisle, and the placement on that row. This is similar to a library tracking system and allows us to find our spools very easily. We use this scale to accurately measure how much wire is on each spool. So now that we have our wire spool checked out from the correct location, we're going to issue it to a job. So we use a barcode scanning system so we'll scan these barcodes so that it auto-fills and auto-types in, and we'll check the measurement of the weight and issue that to the job. Once they complete what they're gonna do with this wire, they will bring it back and we will re-weigh it to see what wire they used, and then we check it back into the system. All right, so now that we've checked out the wire, we'll load it up in our car and deliver it to the building that needs it. All right, we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm headed to the laser wire market to drop off some wire. If you want to see what that looks like, we have a video on our site. We also have more vlogs, blogs you can see as well.